how did bone motion get started? And I'd killed a buck a year or two before I had him mounted on the wall. Well, I sat down in my nice, easy chair. Buck's right in front of me, looks good. I get up and go do something, then I went and sat on my couch. Well, then you see a different side of it, and it looks way better from the other side. I come sit back in my chair again, it's like, well, why do I gotta get up to see different angles of the buck? Make that thing turn. I don't know what a epiphany is, but I had an epiphany. First thing I did, called my buddy up. About 12 o'clock at night. And I told him about it, I called my boy up. And I was sleeping, and I get this phone call, and the, and the first thing I hear is, I just had an epiphany. Well, to get that word from Porky is one thing. So he starts telling me about how he's looking at this buck, and it's just a white tail looking at it straight on, but he sees it from a different angle. Then things start clicking in my head before he's even finishing the story, and he goes, you know, so why, why can't this thing turn? So we can get the same view from every seat in, the, in my living room. So my dad called me up, he was like, I just had an epiphany. And he's like, you know those mounts you made that are hanging on the wall, like straight forward with the European mount on it? And uh, he's like, what if you took that and it moved? That's the first phone call, I don't think I really thought much of it. Like, oh yeah, that's a cool idea. But then, boom, they had one taped to a oscillating fan and it was, you know, this skull moving back and forth. That, that was the first vision I had was an oscillating fan that's going to make this thing work and taped a set of mule deer horns on there and, and started swinging this. And I said, we got to get a hold of Cookie. Cookie's our, he's our, our engineer. Kind of presented this to Cookie, made him sit in the chair, took a set of elk horns, just started slowly turning them. How's it look here? He said, oh, that looks pretty good. He shows me these horns and, and he goes, now how do they look over here? Slowly turn it back, so how's it look there? And then he just, I mean, like a light bulb went off in his head. And, you know, I'm starting to get the idea what they're talking about, and then he kind of goes like that, and so the engineering started kicking in, and I started instantly thinking uh, how I was going to make that happen, I guess. I penciled it out, a bunch of circles and lines and stuff, and I was excited because I, I knew, you know, something that had the possibility of working, and they are looking at me like I was crazy. And Within a week, he had a working prototype. We were actually swinging horns hanging on the wall, and it was, it was pretty cool. Basically, that's kind of where it started, and we ain't stopped since. Somebody says, oh yeah, we're gonna take this mount and it's gonna move back and forth. You're like, well, big deal. But then when you actually see it moving around, like you just, you stop and you stare at it. Just, have you watched it? <laughs> that's the coolest thing about me, it moves, man. And if you've seen that, that's it. That's why I like it. It's simplicity of it. What are we gonna call this thing? Somebody at some point in time said bone motion, and it just kind of stuck. You get every angle of the horn with bone motion. You can sit there and see everything. It ain't the size of the bone though, it's the motion. Good concept. Glad I thought of it.